This is the Bomini, a cryosleep spaceship carrying 22 astronauts on a 20-year journey deep into interstellar space. Their mission? To intercept and study a rogue planet named Solitaria, which was flung out from the heart of the galaxy billions of years ago. These astronauts are about to enter a state of suspended animation, known as interstellar hibernation. The astronauts are getting ready for their deep sleep, an induced torpor designed to slow their bodies to a near standstill. But why hibernation? Space is vast. Everything is so far apart that even the fastest spacecraft will take years, if not decades, to travel from one destination to another. Going into hibernation is our way of keeping pace with the universe, stopping time, standing still in the river of time while the cosmos flows around us. In suspended animation, we match our breath to the timeless rhythm of the stars. During this 20-year journey, the astronauts will only age five months while in hibernation. Not only does interstellar hibernation slow aging, but it also drastically reduces the resources needed. The spacecraft can be much smaller since supplies, living spaces, and equipment requirements are reduced by 90%. But how will the astronauts be kept alive while they sleep? What happens if the ship's systems fail to wake them? And most importantly, where is this spacecraft going? The Bomini is on a mission to intercept Solitaria, a rogue planet from the galaxy's core, traveling through interstellar space. Solitaria was ejected from its home system near the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way billions of years ago, long before Earth and the solar system formed. Now, it's passing near our solar system, offering humanity a rare chance to study a planetary remnant from the galaxy's earliest history. Before launch, the 22 passengers aboard the Bomini undergo rigorous medical checks and psychological assessments to ensure they are ready for cryosleep. They have adhered to a strict nutrient-rich diet and engaged in an intensive exercise regimen to optimize their bodies for the extended period of suspended animation. The Bomini has now departed Earth's orbit, having accelerated at 1G for 15 days to simulate Earth's gravity. The spacecraft is on its way through space, cruising past the Mars colony and heading towards the dark void of interstellar space, with its ultimate destination being the rogue planet Solitaria. To ensure the astronauts' health during their deep sleep, spin thrusters on the spacecraft generate artificial gravity. This crucial feature maintains muscle and bone health, as well as proper fluid distribution, while the astronauts are in hibernation. Seventeen days after leaving Earth, the crew prepares for the long sleep. They enter their hypersleep pods initiating a detailed induction process. This begins with a pre-medication cocktail designed to relax the body. Anti-anxiety medication, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory agents, and sedatives to prevent shivering. The next phase involves injecting a synthetic compound that mimics the triggers of natural hibernation in animals, slowly reducing the astronaut's metabolic rates and body temperatures. Over the course of several hours, the astronauts enter a state of suspended animation, where their bodily functions slow to the bare minimum required for survival. The hypersleep pods are designed to keep the astronauts alive as they travel through the cosmos. These pods regulate everything. Vital signs, oxygen levels, waste disposal, nutrient delivery, and temperature control. Dynamic fluid mattresses cradle the astronauts 
adjusting for any unexpected accelerations or decelerations that the spacecraft might encounter during its journey. In the darkness of space, the Bomini sails silently towards Solitaria. The soft hum of its onboard systems, the only sign of life. The astronauts do not dream in cryosleep. Their brains are in a coma-like state with minimal activity. This isn't natural sleep, but a preservation state designed for the long haul through interstellar space. The cryo-sleep suits that the astronauts wear are embedded with sensors and devices, monitoring every aspect of their health. The suits prevent muscle atrophy through electrical stimulation, while also releasing moisturizers and nutrients to maintain skin health. Blood circulation is managed through compression systems, preventing clot formation. Once a year, a single astronaut, the ship's chief medical officer, known as the sleepwalker, is awakened. Her role is to check on the life support systems, the health of her fellow passengers, and the ship's systems. Radiation levels, fuel, navigation, and any signs of bacteria growth on board must be evaluated. Bacteria, left unchecked in a sterile environment like this, could evolve rapidly, potentially becoming a threat when the astronauts wake up. The sleepwalker performs these critical checks, ensuring the spaceship is sterile and all systems function as they should. While the machines on board the Bomini are engineered for reliability, human bodies don't work this way. The sleepwalker is the ship's safeguard. Human intuition and adaptability filling in the gaps that machines cannot cover. After a two-week inspection tour of the ship, the sleepwalker returns to her cryo-sleep pod, leaving the ship once again in complete darkness and silence. Only the machines hum softly as they monitor the ship and its sleeping crew. The years pass as the Bomini moves beyond the solar system and into the vastness of interstellar space. Ten years have passed since it left Earth, and now it approaches the rogue planet Solitaria. The hypersleep pods initiate the wake-up sequence. The astronauts are slowly brought back to consciousness. It takes seven hours to rewarm their bodies, restoring normal metabolic functions without causing thermal shock. The IV fluids rehydrate them, balancing electrolytes to ensure their muscles and nerves function properly. Waking up from hibernation is not like waking from a regular night's sleep. It's disorienting, almost paralyzing. The sleep pods provide ventilatory support until each astronaut is fully capable of breathing on their own. For the next two weeks, the crew undergoes rehabilitation, spending the first week in quarantine inside their pods while the sedation gradually wears off. Their health is closely monitored and their microbiomes are adjusted back to pre-cryo sleep levels. It's like waking up from sleep paralysis. The astronauts are conscious, but their bodies are slow to respond. During this time, they use virtual reality to reintroduce their senses to external stimuli, helping them recover from the sensory deprivation of suspended animation. After 10 long years, the Bomini has reached Solitaria. The spacecraft flips and burns its thrusters for 15 days, decelerating at 1G to counter the acceleration from the start of the journey. The astronauts are now fully awake, looking out of the ship's windows at the dark silhouette of Solitaria, illuminated only by distant stars. Solitaria is a ghostly, elusive world. A rogue planet without a star, its surface features are cloaked in mystery. The planet's extreme density and rare isotopic composition suggest it was shaped by intense gravitational forces near the Milky Way's supermassive black hole.
Now, the astronauts are ready for their mission. They will spend the next nine months orbiting Solitaria, studying the planet's composition and uncovering the secrets it has carried with it for billions of years. These secrets will help humanity understand the early history of the galaxy, stories from the center of the Milky Way, sent on a cosmic journey to meet us at the edge of space. As we sleep among the stars, we leap through time to new worlds, drifting through the cosmos in search of answers to the universe's greatest mysteries. The cryosleep journey to Solitaria is just the beginning. What secrets will we uncover? Stay tuned for more as we continue our journey into the unknown.